I don't want to hear it. I'm sure there's going to be people in the comments like, I can't believe you said Punch Asbury Star. Like, I already know because Jeffrey is one of those people that, like, with the whole Michaela Lash drama. Jacqueline Hill is in the drama again. She's getting dragged all over YouTube and TikTok because of what she said in her latest video. Let's jump right into talking about Jacqueline Hill and her latest scandal. Okay, let's talk because I feel like we need to talk. So check this out. So Jacqueline Hill said that she was going to take to YouTube and do a video where she is not selling us anything at all. I was kind of shocked. I was like, okay, I'm here for it, right? Not here to, I'm not here to sell you anything. Under eye primer is beyond necessary for me. This is mine from my brand, my under eye brightening primer right here. I need to literally not even be recognizable. Like I need to look like a completely different person. I need 30 pounds of makeup for me to feel my absolute best. So that's what I do. So after that, I go in with my Jaclyn Cosmetics concealer right here. This is in shade light, medium yellow. This is a full coverage concealer. Okay, so I put, as you can see, not a ton, because I just love the way they look when they're layered. So a few months from now, but right now I don't like it. I'm still a pressed powder girly for my under eye. I'm gonna go in with my brand, John Cosmetics. This is Brightening Fair and Correcting Light, and I'm gonna combine these two for like my perfect under eye brightness. Just taking a beauty sponge, and I'm gonna do my eyelid as well, and that's literally going to be my base for my eyeshadow. Like Jacqueline Shill. <laughs> I don't know if people still call me that, but at one point people were calling me Jacqueline Chill, which is kind of cute. Maybe I should change that my last name. All right, I'm gonna go in with two of my powders. I'm gonna go in with my Mood Light in the shade Do Me, and I'm gonna go in with my loose powder in the shade Sheer Light. These two together. I'm like kind of hating that everything right now is Jacqueline Cosmetics, <laughs> but I'm not joking. I do not use any of the bronzer except mine, honest to God. I have Hula right here because I use this to, um, to do my nose, but like, this is just it. This is the only bronzer I've used for like the past year ever since I started developing it. For so change, and I'm still using my original Jacqueline Hill palette that I made with Morphe. I'm sorry, but these two shades are irreplaceable to me. All right, right here, Silk Cream and MFEO, which stands for Made for Each Other. Mm -hmm. I made that one for you. I just ordered the um, P. Louise palette that everyone's talking about, and I'm so excited to try that. And I feel like it's gonna become one of my faves. I, I can't wait to get it. Anyways, but this is my and again, a palette that I created with Morphe called Divine Neutrals, and some of the shades in here are just, for me, irreplaceable. I'm gonna go with the shade Just Barely. I'm gonna go in and highlight my brow bone, okay? I would, yeah, for me, I'm not ever giving it up, all right? I'm gonna go in with my highlighter, Jacqueline Cosmetics, in the shade Iced. This is the number one seller, at, like, by, by me that I created, by my brand, by Jacqueline Cosmetics. This highlight is just, it's it. If you haven't tried it, you're missing out. I'm gonna go in with my Rouge Romance palette. It's looking dingy, because I've been using this forever. But these right here, you guys, listen. This is might be like my favorite thing I ever created with my brand. Are these blush palettes, the warm and the cool. Bitch, when I tell you <laughs> this formula, <sighs> the best. It's the best. All right, I'm gonna go with the shade Admire right here and a little bit of French Kiss. I'm just gonna dab both. Yes, it is all my brand. I'm sorry, but this combo is freaking gorgeous. I'm gonna go in with my lip liner in the shade Praline. Remember how early, last not least, I'm gonna go in with my lip lacquer in the shade Naked. These came in a trio for holiday. They're still available. They, you guys, I'm obsessed with this formula. A lot of people are like, it's a really sticky gloss, but it's made to be a lacquer and a topper. Now she just launched these brand new robes. And I was like, is she gonna talk about the robe? She's gonna wear the robe in the video? Now she shot the video over a week ago. We just got the video today. She posted it, it's over 40 minutes long, but I did the watching, so you don't have to, I broke it down. In the video, she talks about her makeup brand the entire time. Now, she hasn't made a YouTube video in three to four months, and she's back. After three to four months, she's back on YouTube. And here's what she had to say. The whole video was her promoting her brand. Here we go, roll it. This brush, you guys, this brush is a game changer. If you don't have this brush, you need this brush. It's by It Cosmetics. It's the, just says Heavenly Skin, TM. Well, at least they trademarked it. <laughs> Oh, here. Now, I also caught some little tea. You know, she's in this scandal where she uh, was apparently took a small business owner, Cozy, remember that, you know, the Cozy brand? Threw some shade saying that, oh, this is trademark. This brush is trademark, TM. And I'm like, is that shade at that Cozy girl? That's shady the house. Cause that Cozy girl is still struggling the house. Like that is not right. Anyways, if you pay attention to Jacqueline Hill's video in the background, she has, uh, you can see some product placement in the background. It says 
Jacqueline, like her logo and stuff like that. She's wearing the Get Ready With Me robe in the video. She opened up the video with the foundation talking about a stick foundation by Tom Ford. Something she would wear to like a wedding. Listen, stick cream foundation is really good. I mean, just to let y'all know, if you buy cream stick foundations, they're gonna last you a long time. This Anastasia Beverly Hill one has lasted me a very long time. It's really good. So she's ranting and raving about the Tom Ford Cream Stick Foundation, which is a $98 on Sephora.com. And she's using really high-end makeup and then she keeps using her own makeup. It's like she can't help but to be like, oh, I'm using this Jaclyn, using this Jaclyn palette, using this Jaclyn bronzer, using this and this and this. And I'm like, girl, this was a per perfect opportunity for Jaclyn Hill to sit down with us and just say, hey, I'm gonna be using a lot of makeup and none of it's Jaclyn Cosmetics because I we all know my stuff is good, but I want to try some new makeup, so here we go. She didn't do that. She didn't do that at all. I mean, I would have loved to see her try some e.l.f. products. None of that stuff was super affordable. None of it was e.l.f. Girl, I'm literally telling you, like, there are stuff on the market that is so good and affordable. Like this right here, this Wet n' Wild, $5 photo focus foundation. This is so good. Another one right here, and that's Wet n' Wild. Here's e.l.f. Cosmetics. This primer is so good, very sticky tacky. The makeup sticks to it and it has 4% niacinamide. It has skincare benefits in it, you know? Here's $150 La Mer Foundation. She could have did that and mixed in the high and the low together. It's something fun and do something like, I don't know, something like that. The Lady Gaga bronzer everyone's talking about that has so much skincare benefits inside of it, like something like that. Maybe talk about the Superstay thing Michaela did. Maybe talk about foundation and mascara. The Maybelline mascara. Maybe talk about the brand new Gwen Stefani mascara that came out. Girl, nothing. It was just, it was a miss for me. Her whole entire video was just like plug in her own cosmetic line. And for what? She wasn't even going anywhere. I would like to see her put it on and then take it off. But she didn't do that. Why don't you tell us what didn't work for you? I thought that... That, look, I'll tell you what didn't work for me. I bought, this was like, what, $150, $200? This La Mer Micro Peel. Check this out. You go like this, you pump it a little bit, you put some in your hand, like that. You do, you do this whole gig, and you put it on your face. Your face instantly starts burning. It's killing and whatever, all the dead skin. It's removing all that stuff, that, that surface. This Micro Peel burned my face off, girl. All right here, it was like super, I think I left it on too long, I slept in it or something, I don't know. It was super red and inflamed. Girl, I had to pop me a Benadryl, and I had to put this cream on top of it, this, uh, I'm sure his cortisone 10 cream. Girl, I popped that little, uh, that little pill, I fell asleep in the house. I woke up, it was like halfway gone. Girl, I'm not using this again, it's too dangerous the house. But just keep it real, like she didn't do that in her video. The video started out, kind of good and she was like oh i'm not i'm not talking or selling anything of my makeup and then she'll 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 showing 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 she didn't even talk about like the new beauty trends out right now like i don't know setting powder that does not have talc in it stuff like that right i i always stress to people enough i'm like use a setting powder here's the one by honest beauty there's one by lady gaga and so many others that are talc free when you girls know when we go like this and we get this setting powder i'm going to show you Look, look at all the smoke. See all that? It's just smoky everywhere. We get the setting powder. We do that whole gig. You breathe in that talc. Talc-free setting powder. I'm telling you, talc causes cancer. So I always, I'm always telling my friends, like, do talc-free setting powder. I'm not saying talc-free eyeshadow. If you can if you want to. But do talc-free setting powder, bro. It's healthier. It's better. It does the same thing. But no. She didn't do that at all. It was just a get ready with me. She should have just put on there, get ready with me using my makeup brand. Cause that's exactly what it was. Get ready with me using my makeup brand as I shade cozy and uh, sell y'all stuff that y'all probably don't even want and need. I don't want to hear it. I'm sure there's going to be people in the comments like, I can't believe you support Jeffree Star. Like, I already know because Jeffree is one of those people that the second that his name comes out of someone's mouth, it's like, you're canceled. I am so sick of cancel culture. I am literally anti-canceling anybody or anything. Like, with the whole Michaela Lash drama, I had thousands of people asking me to review that mascara or to talk about it. And I'm like, 
I am not God. I am not here to judge. This is a great lash curler. I'm using it. Leave Michaela alone. Like God, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I think this is just worth All that stuff is already 50% off. That literally was her last hurrah. I'm telling you guys, there's something going on with Jaclyn Hill and I'm gonna break it down for you right now. In her TikTok, she made a TikTok. Let me roll you the clip. Okay, ignore my appearance. I just got home from the gym. It was such a good intense workout. I'm literally still shaking, but my rosacea is like in full swing right now. And I have like tomato face, right, from working out. So I thought this was the perfect time to try this CC Red Correct because I've seen it all over TikTok and I am so sick of having so much redness in my skin. And I'm so curious if this is actually going to work. Okay, this looks a little, let's just trust the process and see. Holy shit. I was like looking away for a second. Hold on. Yo, what? Okay, hold on. Did you just see what I saw? Like, I don't know why. I feel like I have to put more on. <laughs> Wait. You guys, what? I have to look in the mirror. Oh? You guys, it literally looks like skin. In person, it just literally looks like skin. I'm gonna wipe it off so you can see what was underneath. Like, look at that. Oh. <laughs> In that TikTok, she's saying, oh, look, look at my rosacea. Girl, that's not rosacea. Listen, I don't want, I'm not trying to be rude, but when white folks, when they drink too much or they work out really hard, their face gets a little cheeky red. Right here, little cheeks get red. Take a shower, cool down, it goes away. The redness goes away. That's not rosacea. Guess she was just working out. She probably, that would probably just blush, girl. Who knows? She probably put a little blush on there. But anyways, she puts that on. And then the people are asking her what product is it. Oh, check out my Amazon link. And I said that in another video the other day. I'm like, she couldn't just tell us what the name is. She has to make us click her Amazon link. Girl, really? That took so much effort. But even in doing that video, it was like you were selling the house. And here's what I'm trying to say. Here's my point. Why is Jaclyn Hill, a multi-millionaire, on TikTok peddling Amazon links? And then she makes this video. She hasn't made a video in over three or four months. She gets on YouTube and she drops this video where she's pushing all her Jaclyn cosmetics. I think she's going broke. I think she's struggling financially to stay afloat. Because let me tell you what. If I was a multi-billionaire, millionaire, I still would do YouTube. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't be on here piddly peddling, click my link, click my link. I just wouldn't. For what? I say, there's, girl, I would have to really like something to do that. Really like something to do that. But no, I'm not going to do that. No. But that's just my opinion, girl. I really want to know what you guys think about all that drama in the comments down below. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Love you so